flurries, but what a storm it was. The blizzard of 03 turned out to be one for the record books. When all the totals are in, many places will have upwards of two feet of snow, making this one of the top four snowstorms in city history. The cleanup is in full swing tonight. Plows, blowers, and just plain shovels are out in force. New Jersey remains under a state of emergency, and Governor Pataki has declared a snow emergency in New York City, Long Island, Westchester, and Rockland counties. All the local airports are still having a really rough time tonight. LaGuardia is closed, Kennedy and Newark barely open. And the morning commute, it's looking like a rough one. We'll have all the info you need to get where you need to go. We have live team coverage tonight from Mr. G in the Weather Center with the final snow totals. Glenn Thompson, who traveled all over the city today, checking on the big cleanup. Jackie Holland with the very latest on the state of the airports. And Vanessa Tyler is in New Jersey, where the storm turned deadly. We begin now with Mr. G, who's at the map. G. All right, and the big story in around the tri-state area were the snow totals, measuring it with a yardstick. From Darien, 18 inches. Hillsdale, 20 inches. Lodi in New Jersey, 17. Central Park, close to 20 inches. Farmingdale, 21.5. Howard Beach, 25.0. More towns, once again, in around the tri-state area. If we can take a look at it, you can see from New City to North Babylon, Graves Inn, 20 inches, JFK 24.5 inches. We'll take a look at the computer now and be able to see once again temperature readings. The temperature in around the tri-state area is holding in. If we can look at the computer, winds gusting at 21 miles per hour. Got a wind chill factor of minus 12. The snow is pulling away. That's the big story. You can see it's setting up southwest, northeast. There it goes. The Arctic high was the big, big story. And once again, as we watched the storm depart, the cold there was there. The tropical air came flying right into this cold air. And where they met, bang, we had a lot, a lot of snow, anywhere from 16 to 24 inches of snow in and around the tri-state area. Any more storms in the forecast? We'll talk. The Bay Area so far, it's tides are about eight feet above uh, normal. If the 18 inches to two feet of snow here wasn't bad enough, they're talking about the potential for flooding later on tonight. But the most immediate problem mid-afternoon here in Belmar and all up and down the coast are these whipping winds. They must be 20 to 30 miles an hour. Give a listen for yourself. Being pelted in the face with snow, it's hard to see. It's just awful. And that's why few dared to venture into this winter wonderland, but those who did came out with a purpose, like digging out their cars or their driveways. I can't stand stuff myself. Snow and leaves, I have no use for it. Got rid of the trees, can't get rid of the snow. <laughs> <laughs> you seem like you're keeping a good sense of humor about this all. What can you do? If you can't laugh at the, the good things in life and the bad things, then what, you know, what can you do? When else can we be so carefree as to pull your kids in a sled down the middle of the street? And when else do you see the mayor of Avon by the sea driving a snowplow? We're catching up now, and uh, six or eight hours, I think, will be. 